What's up everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about a super important topic, which is how to land your first job as a beginner software engineer. So let's get started. So as a beginner software engineer, I assume that you are involved in constant learning process. Let me tell you what I mean by that. So to my understanding, you should be learning new things every day. You should be reading some books. You might be involved in some courses. You should definitely be coding some side projects consistently, okay? So you are allocating some time during a day for your personal growth in this engineering field or some any other tech field, and you are doing it consistently, okay? But boy, that is not enough to land your first job as a beginner software engineer. So there is more besides learning, which is super fun process. There is another super boring process which you should allocate time for every day. And that is called this job landing action which you should be doing consistently, right? So just like you have some time allocated for your learning and developing, you should allocate maybe one or two hours a day consistently to do this job landing process. And here is what I mean by job landing action and process. So first things first, you should take care of your LinkedIn profile. And if you have never heard of LinkedIn, just stop watching this video and create your profile there because it's an absolute must, especially for beginner software engineers to get into the community, get to, to this social network of peers, of software engineers, of recruiters. So everyone related to tech lives inside LinkedIn, okay? And you can reach out to co correct people, reach out to recruiters, make friends, etc. So you need LinkedIn as a software engineer. So that's one thing. Another thing is you should start reaching out to people. So maybe via LinkedIn, maybe via some Google search, maybe via personal networking events or some in-person communication, but you should find recruiters, maybe startup founders, software engineers, like any person who might be interested in hiring a software engineer is your target, okay? And you should get your ass out of your comfort zone and talk to them directly and try to justify why you are the best choice for them to hire now because they might regret not hiring you in two months okay something like that so you should try to sell yourself as good as possible and you should be doing that for this career website as well constantly uploading your resumes for different job descriptions and for different job openings right so that should be super consistent process and you should always be doing that and then there is this special case when sometimes entry-level engineers get obsessed with a particular technology. And let's say they try to land a Python developer job for a long period of time and they constantly fail for some reason. In those cases, I usually recommend slight pivoting in the career. So they might be searching for some other tech-related jobs like tester jobs, like system administrator jobs, maybe some support specialist jobs, like whatever, any tech-related job is valid for you in that case because once you get there it's way easier to transition to your dream software engineering job than to get started directly because you were constantly failing so that is also an option and then there is this super important thing which is called your cv your resume and let's talk a bit about that as well so the first thing you should remember is nobody cares about the fancy designs and colors you use in your resume, okay? People only care about the content of your resume, so keep it black and white. You can use LaTeX format, it's L-A-T-E-X. You can Google it and simply convert some text into PDF and stick with that. Another thing is to keep your resume on a single page. People usually don't have time to walk through multiple pages of hundreds of resumes they receive, right? So keep it simple, keep it and feed it on a single page. That's the correct way to do it. And finally, we got to the most important part and section of the resume, and this is this working experience part. And you may ask me that, how can an entry-level engineer have working experience, right? You're right. You can't have this company-level working experience, but wait. Let me explain what is expected from you to write in that section. Okay, let me put it this way now. Whether or not you are an entry-level engineer or an experienced one, you will be expected to showcase your builder mentality. And by builder mentality, we mean ability of a person to provide technical solutions to some problems, okay? And build real things, real solutions and real projects. And for entry-level engineers, we can count side projects as some kind of the way 
to express their builder mentality. And we can put those side projects in this working experience section of the resume, okay? And now you will tell me that you are an entry-level software engineer, you're lost, you're confused, and you just can't come up with project ideas to build. And you will be completely right. I'm there with you. Okay, and for such situations, I usually recommend to find a mentor. But how can you do that? So you go to LinkedIn and you search, let's say you want to write project on Java or on JavaScript, right? You search for some experienced software engineers in Java or JavaScript, reach out to them and ask for guidance and mentorship, okay? And usually software engineers are super nice people and after multiple tries, you might end up with a pretty decent mentor at your hands. But there is one thing which you should remember clearly. You can't expect another person to be more excited about you, okay, and your success. So you should be the main driver of the process. You should ask questions. You should work hard. And as long as you show your passion and enthusiasm, your mentor and any software engineers around, like me and my friends, will be more than happy to help guys like you, okay? So that's one of the key things in this process. Okay, let's summarize everything. It turns out to land your first software engineering job, you need to do two things consistently. The first thing is this less fun part, which we described in this video, this action of landing a job. And the second is to continue learning and building things and actually practicing, which later you will put in your resume as well, right? As your working experience. So basically, if you keep doing these two things frequently and consistently, you will have pretty good chances of landing your first software engineering job. Okay, there is one last thing you need to do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about this YouTube channel. And see you all in the next video.